Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm coming at you with another one of these videos where we just kind of sit down and talk about some things. Uh, like I, like I, I, I feel like every time I make a video like this, I always preface it by saying this, but the videos where I just sit here and talk in front of the camera, they do the best on the channel for some reason, and I have no idea why, so as long as you guys keep enjoying them and keep wanting to seeing them, I'll keep making videos like this. But anyway, as you saw from the title, today we're going to be ranking every single Cold War perk in order from worst to best. Before we get into it, I just want to say I grew up at a time where I have the most nostalgia for like the early 2010, so anything between like 2009 to like 2013, 14, 15, anywhere in that range really. And obviously during that time when it came to Zombies content, there was a lot of ranking videos, top fives, top tens, between the Smith plays, Mr. T Lexify, Lagging 24X, there was so many people that made videos like that, Tupor for You Games, like there was a lot of people that made videos like that, and I've always wanted to get into it and always wanted to try it, but I just never really had the chance, but now the Cold War is over, and we have all the perks in the game that we're going to get, I figured before Vanguard comes out, I'll just go ahead and give my rankings of the perks in Cold War. Alright, so as the quote-unquote worst perk in the game, now granted there's only 10 perks in the game, which, wait, actually not that I say that, I think 10 is the most we've actually had in a Zombies game, aside from BO4 obviously, in terms of how many perks you can have at once, I think the most we had before this was BO3 when you pop the perkaholic it was like nine perks but anyway the worst coming in at number 10 is tombstone obviously I don't even I don't even need to go any further than that it's just tombstone when it came back at first we thought it would be good and while there is that ability to where you can get like unlimited downs per se the fact that you have to go into your tombstone shadow and you can still go down considering the fact that it's pretty easy to get uh, self revives now due to some other perks that have been added to the game alongside even like freaking quick revive being able to pick you up a lot easier it's just tombstone even in co-op you it, it, it's just not a good part i'm that's it i could see the only upside being if you're playing a bigger and i think like the bigger the only big map where you'd really have trouble getting to teammates in time would maybe be like certain situations on mauer and maybe firebase z maybe if you go down and you don't want perk decay to happen so you don't have to rebuy your perks, but again, it's, just, it's not even worth it. Next up, I have Mule Kick. It's, you know, it's Mule Kick. You can hold three guns and, you know, there's that one ability where when you throw in equipment, there's a chance that it won't actually use that equipment. So essentially, if you buy five decoys, you could end up having those five decoys become ten, which is pretty cool, but salvage comes along really easily due to, again, other perks that have been put into the game, and the cheaper things that this would even be useful for is pointless past, like, round 20, 25, when zombies are dropping equipment non-stop. Having three weapons is pretty cool if you're playing, like, Mallard or Toten, and you want to get, say, like, get your Gallo, get a Ray Gun, and the Cerberus, but again, I... I don't know, we, we 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 did fine up until Mule Kick came out, and since it came out, I don't I don't know, I never even end up running three guns anyway, I always just end up using my loadout weapon, maybe getting the Wonder Weapon if I'm going for a high round, and besides that, that's really it. I don't want to waste too much time, so we're going to go through this a little bit quicker, next up I have PhD, it was just added into the game, the ability to like just slide through zombies is pretty cool, is kind of useful, it's nice now that we can camp on D-Machine using our Ring of Fire, not getting splash damage by the Ray Gun, it's cool, but again, not something that I'm going to end up using all that often. I'll always buy it, obviously, because you can buy it. Uh, there, There's no cap on buying perks in this game, but again, I it doesn't you don't really need it next up on my list i have elemental pop it's really just useful for when you're using wonder weapons or melee weapons because it lets you use elemental abilities it, it, it makes your weapons randomly shoot out other elemental abilities that you are, don't already have equipped. So say you have a gun with Deadwire, it has the chance to shoot out anything else like Napalm Burst, Cryo Freeze, Brain Rot alongside your normal AATs. And really, I found this mainly just to be useful when I was trying to get the Knife Dark Ether. But outside of that, it wasn't... It, it's just one of those things I end up getting after I get all of the other perks that I actually need, and then from there it just helps boost me up, and it is a pretty good perk, but again, not something that I feel like I need necessarily, and the electric cherry effect is pretty cool. Next up, I got Speed Cola. It kind of took the one element from Time Slip in BO4 where if you hit the box, it goes through faster, certain things you can do a little bit faster, and then obviously you reload faster as well, although it was nerfed in this game heavily compared to Speed Cola from other games like Black Ops 1 through 3 and World of War, but regardless, it's still good especially if you're using like an lmg or something like that always want to have speed cola but 
Definitely not as good as it has been in the other games since it got nerfed. Next up, I got Stamina Up just because, I mean, it, it, it's freaking, it, it's Stamina Up. It lets you run faster, and in this game, especially if you're using an LMG or something like that, running faster and staying away from the enemies, especially with how fast they get. If you're running a training strategy, they're going Firebase Z. It's very, very useful, especially the uh, no back pedal cap, where when you aim down sights and walk backwards shooting, you don't slow down at all. It's amazing. It's actually saved me a lot of times and has helped the dark help me grind out dark ether because you guys know me i'm more of a traditional zombies player even though in cold war it's better to camp in terms of time efficiency i like to train still but anyway at number four we have death perception a relatively new perk that came to cold war definitely uh between i, I i'd say on forsaken it is the best that it can be it's literally right in the spawn room and if you get that and you just stay in the spawn room to like round 10 get like 20k points and you shoot all the zombies pick up all the salvage the ability with death perception to where it gives you extra salvage by the time you leave there you'll have enough to have a purple tier gun because i've done that I, I do that literally every game i stay till around 11 12 i have just about enough to get a purple tier gun if not pretty dang close and the ability to see zombies through walls, while well, really it's only something that caters towards noobs, sometimes it can kind of help. E even though I'm a bit of a, more of a veteran player, I'd say I've been playing since World of War, uh, it's it, it's still kind of helpful with how fast zombies move in this game. Blast through the last couple. At number three, we have Quick Revive. Obviously, the, every time you buy it, you get an additional life in this game. There's no life cap. Every time you buy it, if you go down, kill a zombie, you'll get back up. It lets you recharge your health so freaking fast compared to the normal. Normally when you get hit, there's a delay between when you get hit and when you can start regening. It basically gets rid of that. I can't tell you how many times that has saved me along with the ability to revive your friends faster. That's obviously always very nice, especially when you're on the high rounds and you're on like Firebase Z or Mario Dota and you got Mimics and Tormentors and Panzers coming at you. It's just, it gets freaking crazy. Number two, I have Deadshot. It, I, ne I never thought I'd say that, but Deadshot's actually really good in this game. It basically double, if not triples, I believe, the headshot damage that you can do to enemies uh, when it comes to hitting them in the head alongside the usual auto aim ability to just snap onto the heads. It's freaking overpowered. And the number one, I got Jug. You know, when you get to the high rounds and zombies literally down you in almost one hit, Jug alongside armor in this game. Yeah, yeah. You definitely want to get this thing tiered up, though. If you're going with the non-upgraded Jug and you only have 200 health, it's kind of helpful, I guess. But once you get it up, you get 250 health. Oh, yeah. Obviously, more health best perk in the game it always has been always will be we love juggernaut that's really it guys that's my ranking of all the cold war perks i'm sorry if this video seemed a little uh unprofessional or if i was stuttering a bit or if i seemed all over the place i didn't write any notes and i knew i probably should have written some notes but i was just trying to go off the top of my head i've never made a video like this before but since i have so much nostalgia for those old creators that i used to love and still watch to this day uh i just kind of wanted to do my shot at it so hopefully you guys uh enjoyed the video I, I tried my best again. If you want to see more of these ranking videos, whether it be for something for Cold War or other games or movies or literally anything at all, as long as it interests me in some sort of way with the topic, I will go ahead and make a video on it. But as always, a shout out to my one and only Patreon, Carmen's Fake Grandma. Thank you so much for the support. But with that, that is going to do it for this one. I hope you all enjoyed. Please remember to go down below, like, subscribe, comment, share this with your friends. Remember, I post daily at 7 p.m. So we'll see you guys back here tomorrow. And uh, yeah, that's it. I love you guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Peace. I'm all alone. I walk alone.